Okay, that's, there we go, okay. So, just a quick update on today. Um, busy, busy, busy day. Um, at the vet, actually, I, Dave had to <laughs> do a couple of vet runs for me today. Sadie had an appointment, and Dave had to do that because Raina had gone into labor last night and still hadn't produced any pups this morning. Um, and then Faith, um, not wanting to eat very much, so I had to get some information from my vet on her. So, um, that's just another, um, you know, another thing to work on. Hey, Raina. Okay, good. That's his face. So Raina had her babies tonight. I'm going to show you those. And honestly, we just got back from the vet. I am exhausted. She took, if you remember the last time, for those of you who were on the wait list, Raina, hey, do not touch their bellies. Um, she, she takes her um, umbilical cords down too close. And so I had to have a couple of them last time stitched and stapled, which happens every once in a while. But with her, it seems to be a thing. Raina, hold on for a minute. So she doesn't want any blood on her puppies at all, and which is understandable, but it also is um, can be a danger because um, you can't, I mean, the umbilical cord, that's what that is. So she's continually trying to clean that up and that is what's making her take it down too short so anyway so you guys have already seen faith's pups they are growing like weeds um getting around very well um so she has her three she ate very well today had still has some diarrhea we're working on that um she needs a good bath and a good clip i'm not doing anything until she, we get rid of the diarrhea from her and then, um, I know I just saw that, didn't I? Yeah, put your head down, take a nap. Um, exhausted, was up with her last night. She probably started nesting about 2 a.m. And so, I usually count out about 12 hours and add, you know, a couple of hours. But, and pretty much right on time. I mean, she had her first puppet about 4. Um... And that was this sable boy right here. Um, I haven't really had a chance to look them all over. We have two girls and four boys. It looks like we had a lot of white pups, but then some of the white pups started to sprout some spots. So tomorrow I'll get a good look at them. I'm not even going to bother them tonight. Um, waiting for her milk to come in. These guys have been really, really, really fussy. And I'm assuming it's because the milk hadn't come in yet. Um, I want to say that the girls, one of the girls, I want to say are were the what I thought were cream color. But if you see, this one here was, you can see some spots starting to come in on her. And this one here is a boy. I uh, can't remember. This one's sleeping or latched on, not eating. Hold on for a minute. So I wanted to make sure that they're all latched on if possible. Um, so um, we have six pups. They all seem to be healthy. I mean, they are robust, nice size, all of them moving about. We have these two. Um, cream reddish color I guess I'll know better in the morning um, they remind me of their dad so these guys may be a strawberry blonde color and then this guy back here I thought was black and white but maybe chocolate and white um, when I look when I don't look through the phone he looks more chocolate, so um, I'll know better in the morning, but I wanted to get the video out to you guys. Um, I know a couple of you guys have been 
trying to contact me. Unusual for me not to contact you guys back. I didn't make any phone calls today. I don't think I answered any emails today. Um, really just from, didn't, I mean, I just couldn't. Um, working with her, um, her actual first pup was born at about four. And by 6.30, we were in emergency care to get their stomachs, their uh, umbilical cords stapled. So, um, and I haven't eaten. I haven't had one thing to eat all day. So, I am actually going to get something to eat right now. And I probably will be down here tonight because I have to make sure that she doesn't open any of their umbilical cords. Um, and by tomorrow, hopefully, they'll be dried. So, uh, that's the plan. Um, I'll give you more information. Hopefully, things will settle down because we have two litters of pups. They're four days apart. That should keep me in the same room um, instead of running back and forth or up and down. Dave has the, the adult dogs tonight. Um, so, hopefully, things will, will get a little bit easier. Um, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So, um, send any questions you might have, and I will answer them as, as soon as I can. Okie doke. Just a little bit more patience, and, and I appreciate you guys uh, understanding. Thanks.